Shalom, Shalom. Giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Achachadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation, blessing to the Akim, pushing his word on truth and in sincerity, risking your lives and freedom to do so now more so than ever. I'm your fellow servant, Tham Yadya Mahar. I represent the GMS branch here in Cleveland. Here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists predominantly of you Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, as well as the people of Negro and Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth among the heathens. To you, we say Shalom. <clears throat> Out of one Ratzazah, but now what is is an edifying lesson. It's going to be a quick lesson. Um, As a matter of fact, uh, let me just get the scripture first. This is Genesis chapter 27 and verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. <laughs> so Esau is the progenitor of you so-called white people, the so-called white race, the Russians, Germans, uh, the so-called Israelis, right? The Americans, the Europeans, the Britons, the French, you know, just to name a few, so on and so forth. All right, so Esau is the progenitor. He's the father of a mainly those races that I just spoke, all right? But I'm going to have to put this out there too. Esau is going to look like every nation as well because this seed was mingled as well, all right? So these Edomites, they're going to be known, you know? They're going to be known who the Edomites are in the last day. But Jacob is who? It's his twin brother, all right? And Jacob is the pro who name was changed to Israel. Yasha Allah in the Hebrew, he prints power because we are the princes of the power, the princes of who these people in the call God and Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Jacob is the progenitor, the father of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. All right. And who hates you? The so-called white man. Right. Um, this is Genesis. And it's like, it's, I'm going to read it again. Genesis 27 and 41 and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. So he hated us because of the blessing that 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 the heavenly father put in Isaac's spirit to bless us with. <laughs> All right. So let's read the blessing that 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 um our our forefather Isaac gave us. All right, which is uh Yahweh Shai. All right. Um. So this is um Genesis twenty seven and twenty seven, and he came near and kissed him and he and he smelled him and smell of his raiment. This is Jacob, all right, because his mother had a dream and he instructed him to do these things to because his father Isaac was he was losing his sight so he couldn't really see that well, so his mother had a dream a vision of course from the heavenly father and instructed Isaac to do these thing, to do this man, all right. Um, it says, and you can read up in the chapter in Genesis, the 27th chapter, get the, the full story of what I'm speaking about. But it says, and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is this as the smell of the field, which the Lord have blessed. And when you go back to Genesis, uh, the 25th chapter, when the boys, you know, when they grew up, when they, when they was born, um, uh, Esau sold this blessing to us, all right? And, of course, Esau, he's not a man of, he's not a man of his word, all right? He's a liar and a deceiver, as the scripture referred to him as. He wasn't going to keep his word anyway, man. So the Heavenly Father in intervened, man, through a vision through his, their mother, all right? Which she instructed Jacob to do this, to put on hair and so on and so forth. Um, but it said, therefore, the most high give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine, which that's the blessing. Well, part of the partial, a part of the blessing as to why these red Hebrew Edomites hate us, because, you know, we saying that we're about to rule the kingdom of heaven. All right. OK, that's what we about to rule. Y'all got y'all a uh, uh, rulership. This is y'all heaven. All right. And our heaven is you Edomites and you other nations. Y'all hell. All right, so y'all gonna be getting shot down in the streets, all right, in the streets of Jerusalem, <laughs> all right, and in the streets of the, of, of all these cities that we, you know, uh, erect around the four corners of the earth, man. After we destroy y'all cities with our big brother Yahweh Shai, man. 
Uh, therefore, the most high give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. Right. We're going to own the whole earth, man. That's the blessing. All right. And these devils trying to prevent us. And, in, in, you know, right. That's why they call us black. That's why they did this whole. Uh, 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 that's why they created this whole uh, this Truman show to deceive us, man. All right. And beguile, well, to deceive us from our heritage and our and our blessing, man, that the heavenly father bestowed upon us. He said, and plenty of corn and wine, right? Because we're going to have control of the food, all right? The wine, like these red Hebrew Edomites, they control the food industry. They control the wine industry. Well, that's going to be, uh, uh, um, it's going to be a transition from Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, to Jacob. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians, we're going to control the food, the wine, the, the vegetation, the fruit. It says, uh, I'm going I'm, to... I'm, I'm I ain't gonna make this long either, cause I got something on the stove. So lucky. Uh, let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Right? They gonna be our servants, all right, and our slaves. <laughs> Pursuant to Isaiah the 14th chapter, uh, scripture says, uh, those who possessors they were, roughly paraphrasing, they shall rule over their oppressors. There's mul multiple scriptures that say that. Um, and all these nations are gonna serve us, man. The so-called Africans, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese, the so-called Arabs, all right? The so-called uh, Australians, the so-called East Indians, the Indians, all right? These, the, they, these nations are going to serve us as well as Esau, Edom, the so-called white race in the kingdom of heaven. It says, be Lord over thy brethren, right? And who is our brother in these red Hebrew Edomites? They are a wicked, evil, wicked twin brother, man. And let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Who is our mother's son? Esau. All right, it says, um, curse be everyone that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. So all these nations cursed us, so they're about to receive the curses. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, um, roughly paraphrasing, these uh, 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 curses shall come upon all that hate thee, rough, roughly paraphrasing. Um, it said, and it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made the end of, well, that's the point. That's all I want to read right there. I'm going to jump back down to 41. And this is that's why they hate us, all right. And this is why they continuously shoot us down in the streets, man. All right, because they have no regard for our lives, even in the Constitution or somewhere in these uh, in somewhere in one of these damn writings of Esau, they said that a a dog, I believe, have more rights than a, than a man. Okay, you three fourths than a man, roughly paraphrasing. It's like not roughly paraphrasing, but. <clears throat> And the thing about it, see, it's going to be a recompense for all this wickedness and all these atrocities committed upon the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, mainly the Negroes. Because you see this happening more often than none to so-called black men, which the so-called Negroes are the tribe of Judah. All right. Yahweh, then the Hebrew. And that's why the Lord said that in um, Ezekiel, uh, the 25th chapter. Matter of fact, I might pause this and come back. Man. Ezekiel 25 and 12, it says... Thus said the Lord, because that you don't have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. And that's why he does this. He take that's why he does this to get vengeance upon us for putting them in slavery. Because when you go back to the history and the scripture, King David, he subdued all the nations. Esau was under the, uh, uh, the Israelites during the time of King David and the 40 years under King Solomon, man. All right. Because of the, uh, uh, the accomplishments, uh, the military accomplishments of his father, um, he said, thus saith the Lord power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. And this is how they take vengeance, by shooting us in traffic stops, putting their knee on our neck. This the same, it's not the same city, if I'm not mistaken. It's the same state um, with the Derrick Chauvin and George Floyd's all this shit going on, man. All right. It says, um, um, and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Right, you offended the heavenly Father by doing these things and by continually, continuously doing these things. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut it off, cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from teeming, and they of the day shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem how shot? So, you know, it's going to be a, a recompense for them. And that's a righteous thing, according to the Heavenly Father, to recompense tribulation to them that troubled thee. And who troubled us? Specifically Esau. That's why he going to get at the worst in the kingdom of heaven. 
in comparison to these other nations, which they're going to get a hot, fiery foot up their ass too, but it's not going to be to the extent of these red Hebrew Edomites, man, because they're not the ones who killing us down in the streets. They didn't have us in, you know, well, they had us in slavery, of course, you know, in the, in the ancient world, and um, you know, but it wasn't as severe as the slavery of these red Hebrew Edomites, man. All right? Um, so, yeah, man, I ain't going to make this long, man. If I'm going to get one more scripture, I'll put that um, link in the description. My brothers can read it. It's Amos 1 and 11. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, for three transgressors of Edom, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Right. So y'all, <laughs> what, 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 what my dude Johnny Cash say? You run on, run on, you run on a <laughs> long time. <laughs> God go to cut you down. You know what I'm So you can run all you want, but eventually, you know, time is going to catch up to you, man. And that hand of the heavenly father is, 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 is getting closer and closer to the neck of you red Hebrew Edomites, man. All right? And our hand is getting closer and closer as well. All right? It says, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast out all pity. Ain't got no pity. You know? Ain't got no pity. You don't care. Jake got a family at home. Children. Young children. And family that de 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 depend on him. He don't care. He don't, he don't, he don't, he don't um, relate to that, man. Like my like like Gunner, the song with Gunner, you, you can't relate, man. It saying his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. But I will send a fire upon Teman, right? The Temanites, all right? A tribe known for their wisdom, which they that's that's Teman is the son of Eliphaz, the elder son of Esau, if I'm not mistaken, which shall devour the palaces of Bozra. And this is modern day Bozra, man. So recompense and judgment is coming for this. You know, but our people, you got to learn, man. And and protesting and right, that ain't going to do nothing. You got to come back to your power, y'all. How about Shimei Hawashai and the Heavenly Father will fight for us. We don't have to do nothing. So with that, I pray this was edifying. I give all glory on and praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, the Double Line City Apostle, and Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, peace and salutation, blessing to the I can push and swear the truth, sincerely, Shalom, Wafla, Baboa.